Have you always lived in Cobb County? No. Where did you live before Cobb County? Baltimore. The actual location? Just like, the what's state? the general, what's your general background before you Baltimore. got here? Just Baltimore? Yeah. Did you live in North Carolina? I did. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, I was like, I remember Morgan was that. born in North okay, Carolina. Okay. So, yes, we lived in North Carolina. We lived in Baltimore first, then moved to North Carolina, then mm-hmm. moved back to Baltimore, and then here. Gotcha. So. So how long have you been living here, would you say? Twelve and a half years. Twelve and a half years. Mm -hmm. Do you know approximately what date you moved in or what month of what year? January of 2006. Okay, okay. The approximate date, January 3rd or 4th. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did your family end up coming down here? My husband's job. Gotcha. Yeah. Did yeah. you, is there a reason you went back and forth before coming here? His job. Just his job his the job. whole time? Different, different job, yeah, different. Mm-hmm. Was it the same job or no, did you different jobs? Job. Different, oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, got a new job. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. But you went back to Baltimore I for know. a different job? That's interesting. Well, that's where I'm from, so oh, okay. my parents were there. Did you meet in Baltimore? Yes, we did. Okay, okay. Yeah. You are a homeowner, yes? Yes. You do not rent your home, you own your home. Own my home. Gotcha. Yep. Was there a reason you guys moved to Cobb County in particular? Schools and uh, proximity to my husband's job at the time. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. No other factors in general? Uh, schools, no. That was the biggest factor. Did you have, like, children. were all of your children born already when you got here? Yes. Oh, okay. And all of them were in school. So, oh, gotcha. So, so yeah, I see yeah. schools must have school played a very big important. Role. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, do you have rooftop solar for your house? Do not. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. <laughs> Never thought about gotcha. putting it on my home. Was it a decision that you made consciously, or you just didn't? Ha- you just hadn't thought of it. Before? Haven't thought about it. The home when we bought it did not have them, and never thought about putting them on there. Would you have considered moving into a house that already had solar on it? Yes. Okay, so you're not like necessarily against it. You no, just, not it just at wasn't all. there. It just wasn't there. Gotcha. Um, so would you, if it was available, would you want solar? Sure, yes. Um, tell me why you would or would not want rooftop oh, solar. I think I'm... Pros and cons for you. Eco-conscious, you okay. know. So lower energy bill, having... Solar, that energy that comes from the sun to power everything would be wonderful. Yeah. Can you think of any cons? I don't know much about it. So I don't, okay, so I don't know much about it, but will it affect if it snows or if it's icy out? Would that affect the panels themselves? Gotcha. In terms of will they work? Will they work? Will they work not as efficient as, you know... I never really thought about it. So that would be one of the things I would I would say if it did not work properly with snow and ice, then that would be a con. But not knowing whether or not it does, <laughs> I can't say. Gotcha. Do you think uh, it would be a problem for you to install them now? Like with the anything like the homeowners association or anything like that? Yes. You think they would be against it or... I, I think they would look into it. I think the homeowners association would look into what it looks like from the road, the mm-hmm. location of where the panels would be, how many you would have on your home. You know, can you see them? Are they? Would the neighbors complain about seeing them? So, the, the homeowners association might have some questions. Gotcha. But if you had the option, do you think that you would install solar on your rooftop? It would depend. I would have to do some research about it cost-wise and, you know. What, gotcha. What is the cost? What is the cost today along with future expense or future savings, I should say. Mm-hmm. So. Um, would there be any non-economic barriers that would prevent you from wanting to have solar on your rooftop? How would it look on my house? Just the, you know, aesthetic. What would it look like? What would they look like on the house? Maintenance? Mm, you know, yes. Do you have to have someone come and maintain them? Do they have to be turned? Do they have to be, you know, 
So things like that. Here's a map of the U.S. Okay. And if you want to label on there for me, um, just where you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes. Okay. I'd say California would have the most. I could be wrong. But I would say California. Do you want to? You can label however many areas you want oh, to. Oh, okay. So, so more. Mm-hmm. Um, Whatever you think, it's up to you how much you label. Okay. Uh, I would say Hawaii would have a lot. Ooh. I want to say Alaska, but then people living. I don't know. I'll, I won't. Alaska doesn't get a lot of sunlight <laughs> at certain times, so we will mix Alaska. Uh, and do I have a limit on the No, number? you don't have a limit. You can okay. label as much as you want. So I would say Florida. Okay, between these three. I would say California, not in any particular order, would have the most. Okay. And I'm guessing. Yeah, of course. Could you tell me what your reasoning was when you chose those areas? California, I think people tend to be a little more um, conscious about the environment. Okay. So, and California gets a lot of sun. And it's very expensive to live in California. So, I think people would try to cut costs, you know. Oh, okay. With, with um, that. Hawaii, and I would say the same with Florida, because Florida gets a lot of sun. Um, a lot of people might have panels. Hawaii, kind of sort of the same thing with it being a lot of sun, but being so remote, I know things are expensive in Hawaii, so I can imagine the cost of electricity in Hawaii is even more so expensive. And then a lot of times people don't live necessarily in cities. They'll live out in these little towns. Mm -hmm. So getting electricity to their home might be easier to get. So solar panels. So, gotcha. That's why. Did you have any other? Uh, do you think there's any other factors or reasonings why people might adopt solar in those areas? Not really. Okay. What do you think makes the people from uh, the communities that you labeled so different from the people from our community? Uh, I don't know. I, you know, well, again, with people in California, I think they would just be a little more. Eco-friendly. Okay. As opposed to us <laughs> in Georgia. In <laughs> Georgia. I don't think people in Georgia really, some do, but on, on a whole, I don't think they're as eco-friendly, eco-conscious as other, as, as someone in California would be. Same with Hawaii, because of the proximity of the location of the state being in the middle of the ocean, the mm -hmm. cost of electricity and everything. I think they would be a lot more um, conscious of of things more than we would here. Being land, well, we're not landlocked because we are. They would peekaboo. So they would be more conscious because of why in Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, simply because of the location. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, those are interesting places. I think like people generally label those areas, but oh really? Yeah, yeah. Did somebody? You know, I was thinking. I actually thought about like Colorado mm -hmm. and Utah also because of the mountains. Okay. You know, I think you tend to see a lot more solar panels. I think you're seeing them more in urban areas than you had before, but I think you tend to see them in rural areas. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I would have, yeah, said like... What's that word that you wrote next to California? Most. Oh, most. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, when you lived in Baltimore and North Carolina and anywhere else that you happened to live between now and Georgia, or before in Georgia, did you notice more solar in some places than others? I did not. Okay. Did you mm -hmm. feel that the mindset of people were different in different places that you lived Oh, yeah. I definitely think the mindset of people, yeah. In what ways? Certain people in certain areas are a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, conscious of the environment than others. 
and people in, say, California and even in the Northeast tend to be a little more environmentally friendly -er Mm -hmm. than people, say, in the South. I think, and even sometimes people in in the West are a little more environmentally friendly Mm -hmm. than, say, people in the Deep South. How would you personally describe your relationship with the environment in general? Oh, I try to be a a conscious uh, environmentalist. (laughs) I recycle. Mm -hmm. I will go through the trash. (laughs) My kids will throw stuff away and I'm going through the trash. This goes in the (laughs) recycling bin. And I'm like, why are you digging in the trash? Don't, you know. So I do recycle. Um, I do drink out of, uh, you know, the water I drink. I have a filter, you know, things like that. I drink the the cups I drink out of our... um, just a little more try to use like reusable straws and mm-hmm. things like that so uh do you feel like you're more conscious than other people typically in the state at least i don't know i, d- I don't know because i've never taken a pulse of the people in the state oh, okay so i wouldn't i wouldn't want to say that i am and then all of a sudden take a pulse of the people and then all of a sudden they're like up here and all the way down here so, I don't know. So, now that you're done with the U.S. map, I'll just leave it here. Okay. And we're going to take a look at the map of Georgia. Oh. So, the same exercise we did with the U.S. map, it's basically we're just going to be labeling where you think the people have the most rooftop solar power adaption, adoption, not adaption, <laughs> <laughs> in the state of Georgia. In the state of Georgia, where do I think? Okay. Okay, let's say... Closer to the coast. I would say the most would be closer to the coast. Okay. I could I could not tell you. See, I want to say Metro Atlanta, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't it's seen okay. any. It's okay. You don't have to know. It's... I haven't seen. I haven't really seen any. Yeah. In Metro Atlanta, driving around, I have not. So that's why I can't. I want to say, but I haven't really. And I definitely haven't seen any. In Cobb County. And maybe I just wasn't looking. Right. So I'll just stick with the coast. Because I had know absolutely nothing about the rest of Georgia. Something says maybe pick the North Georgia mountains. Okay. But Although you did say you wanted to pick the mountains in Colorado. I did. I know. But see, I think those people in Colorado might be a little more... Um, environmentally friendly than the people in North yeah. Georgia. The North Georgia mountain, I don't know. So, yeah. So I'm good with that because I don't know that... Was there a reason, like, even in Colorado that you wanted to pick the mountains in general? I would, I don't know. Being a little more remote. Okay. Um, I, I don't think it matters whether or not you're in a valley or on top of a mountain. But being a little more remote in the mountains... You know, people tend to live off the land, maybe. Okay, okay. So, that would be why. But you want to resist saying that people in North Georgia (laughs) would do the same? I think they might live off the land a different kind of way. Okay. (laughs) So, uh, yeah. Do you want to expand on that a little? (laughs) No. (laughs) In a different way? I don't don't know the demographics. I, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting, though, because you wanted to say Metro Atlanta, but since you live around the area and you know that there isn't really a lot or any here that you've seen. No, I haven't seen any. Yeah. I really have not seen any. And I'm trying to think. I remember seeing some somewhere, but I don't, I'm definitely, I don't think it was here. Mm Mm-hmm. But based on your, um, I know that you know for a fact that it, you don't see any here, but uh, due to your logic and reasoning, why would you have thought that there would be some in Metro Atlanta? Because you have a lot of transplants here. You have a lot of people who come from somewhere else and maybe, you know, they thought, oh, there's a lot of growth going on here. So people are building more. And you would think, okay, so people are building more and the houses are now becoming a lot more um, environmentally friendly. So more people would put them on, the, on their homes. 
if they're building from the ground up. Mm-hmm. And so you would think that maybe they would be a lot cheaper today than they were, say, 15, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And with the growth, maybe they, you know, that would be something that people would incorporate into their building process. Mm-hmm. But all of these new houses going up around here, I'm not seeing any. So it's true, yeah. I'm not seeing any. Was there a reason? Did you just mean to label this part of the coast? Or were you referring to all of the coast? Just all of the coast. Okay. I would say closer to the coast. And why would you have chosen the coast? I would say because of weather-related issues. Okay. You know, you tend to get a little more more hurricanes in the area. Well, hurricanes go up the coast or whatever can come inland also. But that area would be affected more. And with power going out, grids going down, mm-hmm. things like that, that maybe people would have be a lot more interested in solar energy. The sun's not going anywhere. so That's true. So due to more like natural disaster related yes. weather? Okay, yes. okay. Yes. That's interesting. I don't think people have really touched on that yet. <laughs> so that's very interesting <laughs> I mean, just to like hear. People want generators or something like that, mm-hmm. you know? You don't have to worry about it. Hopefully your solar panel won't fly away. Mm-hmm. Uh, And what do you think makes the people from the places, or at least, I guess, the coast so different from the people who live in Cobb County? Because they're affected by the weather more. Okay. They're affected by hurricanes. Well, not even hurricanes, but it could be a tropical storm. It just could be winds. I think a little bit more than the people here in Cobb County. Okay. Okay. Just like we're not affected by that, the same natural disaster type things? Not as much. Okay. I mean, you know, it, it, a hurricane can come. Heck, we've been affected by those, by hurricanes before. But usually we'll get our power back quickly. You know, we're in a larger metropolitan area. A lot of times those outlying coastal areas don't get their power back as quickly as a larger metropolitan area. Okay. So, are you suggesting that these places aren't as city-like? No, just the... No, I've been to Savannah. I've been to Hilton Head Mm -hmm. and, you know, that area and everything. But some of those places can be a little more Tybee Island, a little more remote if something should happen. Okay, okay. You know, um, trying to get into Savannah after a natural disaster can be a pain. So if something happens with the power grid and then you have all the, the you know, you have all these trees falling down on power lines and everything and you have to have the big trucks to get there, if they can't get into town, they can't get into town. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think they'll be a little, they would be affected more so by natural disasters than we would be here. Gotcha. Do you think there's anything else that's different about the mindset between the people who live there versus the people who live in Cobb County? Not really. Anything else in terms of solar that they would uh, have a different opinion on? No, I don't know. Do you think they would see different pros and cons than we would in terms of solar? Yeah, You know what? I think it depends. You know, if someone is out there educating them on solar... Then, yeah, then opposed to someone, because no one's ever knocked on my door to talk about solar energy. So, Mm -hmm. you know, if that's something that's big in that area, and you have more people, and and you have more people doing it in that area, then I think it would make a big difference than here. Okay. Do you think then that uh, with more exposure to just seeing people have solar power, it would just spread better like that? I think it could, yes. Okay. Yeah, because people tend to ask questions once they see it. That's true. You're right. Um, What do you think uh, about what most of your close friends and acquaintances here in Georgia think about solar power? Like, What do you think? Do they have solar on their roofs? No. Do they have a reason why? I don't know. We've never talked about it. Okay. And I think most of the people I know have been in their homes for a while. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I just, I don't, I never, never, we have never, ever talked about that. Okay. 
Why do you personally think that they would or would not have solar on their houses? Cost. Cost-wise, trying to um, convert a home to solar energy. Don't know the cost of that, Mm -hmm. you know. Most of them live in, in neighborhoods like this, so with their homeowners association, allow them to do it. Do you think they would see any non-economic barriers that would prevent them? I guess that would be the non-economic barriers, the homeowners association, again, mm-hmm. the aesthetics, what does it look like, you know, things like that. Um, other than that, no. Do you feel that your relationship with the environment influences your opinion on solar? Oh, I think so. So do you feel like you support it more or less because of that? I think so, yes. Oh, how do you personally feel about solar? Like, do you... Well, I love it. I think it's great. I think, it, you know, people who do use it, I, th- I think it's wonderful. Do you think there are certain things that would influence you to get it? I don't know. Like in terms of if there was more knowledge available or information available? Yes, more knowledge available, more, yeah, definitely, more information, yes. Mm-hmm. Again, it's not something I, I mean, I've vaguely thought about it. Once, if I see it, I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. But then that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it comes and then it, it goes. It doesn't go it's any like, further. Okay, I'm moving on. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. So you don't have, like, the, the people you know in the state, you don't know of anyone who has solar I all? know of no one. I don't know of no one in the state of Georgia. I don't know of anyone, period, who has solar energy. Mm-hmm. Do you have any idea why that they wouldn't even think about getting it? it most of the people I know have been in their homes for a while. Okay, so it's just due to the fact, like, this didn't come with my yeah. home, so we're not going to change it. Exactly. Don't fix what's not broken. Exactly. <laughs> right. Dad, yeah. They're in now. They just don't think about it. Gotcha. Yeah. You think that's the only reason they wouldn't have it? I don't think that would be the only reason. I think that would be the biggest reason. But, you know, I think that's the biggest reason, uh, other than lack of knowledge. Mm-hmm. You know? You just don't think about it. Yeah. Do you think that they would be more open to it if they were informed, or do you think their opinion would change after? Oh, I think so. The people, yeah. Do you think they would be uh, leaning towards one way versus the other more? I think so. You think they would be more for it or against favor, it? Yes. In favor, yes. In favor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 